Hi, this is Vishali Sharma from Jas Tutors and in this video today we'll be talking about nomenclature. Let's have a look at what all topics we'll be covering in today's video. What is nomenclature? Conventions followed while writing scientific names in nomenclature. Let's have a look what exactly is nomenclature. It was introduced by Carolus Linnaeus in the 18th century. An organism can have different names in different languages. So this generally creates confusion in naming organism. So a scientific name is needed which is same in all languages. Binomial nomenclature is what is used for naming different organisms. Let's have a look at the conventions we are supposed to follow while writing scientific names. Following are some conventions which in under which uh, specific scientific names are written. The name of the genus begins with the capital letter. The name of the species begins with the small letter. When printed, the scientific name is given in italics. When written by hand, the genus name and the species name have to be underlined separately. I hope all the po four points are clear to you. If you want, you can pause the video and try having a look again at all the points. Alright, let's have a look at some of the names of different organisms and their scientific names. Humans, they are no their scientific name is Homo sapiens. Tigers. Panthera tigris, cat, Felis catus, dog, Canis familiaris, cobra, Naja naja, pea plant, Pisum sativum. You can have a look at all the names of different organisms. Pause the video and have a look again. Now, here are some very quick questions for you to try. You can pause the video and try these questions. Alright, so let's have a look at the solutions. You can match your answers from here. Pea plants, the scientific binomial nomenclature name of pea plants is Pisum sativum, cat is Felis catus, dog is Canis familiaris, tiger is Panthera tigris, and cobra, last but not the least, Naja naja. Next question says, what are the conventions used while writing scientific names? The conventions were, point number one says, the name of the genus begins with the capital letter. The name of the species begins with the small letter. When printed, the scientific name is given in italics. And when written by hand, the genus name and the species name, it has to be underlined separately. I hope all your answers are absolutely correct. If yes, then go ahead and pat your back. You have really done a good job. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. For more, please visit JustTutors.com. Thank you.